Cool Blues by Grant Green is a fantastic solo to learn if you are new to jazz guitar. There's a bunch of great blues language and bebop licks which is going to kickstart your jazz guitar playing in the right way. It's not too difficult to work out by ear but in this lesson I'm going to take you through it lick by lick so that you should be able to play the entire solo by the end of the lesson. Disclaimer, the original tempo is quite quick, but don't worry about that. Even if you can just play this at 50% speed after this, then you're going to have a bunch of great licks underneath your fingers. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, this is Jamie Holroyd helping you learn jazz guitar. Welcome to the channel. In this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Grant Green solo on Cool Blues. Rather than look at the entire solo, we're just going to be looking at one chorus. This way, you'll have plenty of concepts that you can go forward and use in many different ways. There's a lot of advantages to transcribing an entire solo, but sometimes there's also advantages to just looking at one chorus and utilizing everything in one chorus rather than trying to learn four or five choruses and only utilizing one or two things. So we're just gonna be looking at 12 bars of this one. And of course, this is over a jazz blues, which is number one, a very, commonly played song at jam sessions in gigs and number two contains many common jazz progressions such as short two fives, long two five ones, back cycles to the two chords. So by learning this solo and these licks then you're going to have plenty of ammunition for tackling over jazz standards too. So let's pick up our guitars and learn how to play cool blues. Cool Blues is a 12 bar jazz blues written by Charlie Parker. If you haven't heard it already, then I really suggest you check it out. It's a great jazz blues theme to know, and you only have to learn one riff to be able to play the entire theme. You just have one idea, and you play that three times, and you've got a jazz blues head. Grant begins his solo over this by using a blues idea. Grant's entire philosophy when soloing over a jazz blues was to combine blues and bebop ideas. Of course, this isn't unique to Grant. If you listen to the jazz blues improvisation of someone like Charlie Parker, you'll hear a similar approach. So Grant's solo begins with a real classic blues R&B lick, and that's followed by a second blues R&B lick, and that sounds like this. I'm sure that you've all heard those licks before, the real classic blues licks. Following that, we've got a bebop idea. This happens in bars four and five of the jazz blues solo. And this really is something that's completely different from what we've heard. We've heard a straightforward blues lick, but now Grant is tackling the changes head on with a two, five, one phrase. This is a really great two, five, one phrase by himself with a lot built into it. Grant plays into the third of the F minor seven chord and you also hear a hint of the dominant seven chord as well. And then the third of E flat seven G is right on beat one of E flat. So you can really tell that Grant has the chord changes in his ears when he's improvising over this. Of the E flat seven, Grant is mostly using E flat mixolydian, but of course, it doesn't just sound like you're playing a scale. Grant really knows how to utilize the triads and shapes within that to make it sound like a phrase. Like for example, in that phrase, you can hear Grant uses a D flat triad. And of course, in an E flat mixed Lydian scale, you can find a D flat triad. And sometimes just utilizing a triad within a scale can make the scale sound much less predictable. Following this, Grant pulls us back to the B flat seven by focusing on the note F, which is the fifth of the chord. Following this, we have the back cycle to the two chord, which is in bar eight of the jazz blues progression. If you're thinking in terms of scales, there's a strong C harmonic minor reference here, which will make sense as this is a two, five, one in C minor, but the individual chord tones really pull your ears, or at least my ears, to a G7 flat nine. And of course, many bebop players of this generation would just disregard the two chord and think of the five going to the one. 
In the long 2-5-1, we've got a really great 2-5-1 phrase yet again. We've got a phrase that basically plays around an F triad and resolves to the third of the B flat chord, D natural. The final phrase of this solo uses what you could call a B flat bebop scale. You don't really have to go and learn a bebop scale if you don't know it. All you need to know is that he's adding some chromatic notes within a dominant seven scale. Like for example, in this phrase, we have chromatic notes added between the third and fifth degree of the Mixolydian scale. And that's just basically a common embellishment that many jazz players like to do to Mixolydian scale to make it sound more beboppy. So that's the final phrase. So hopefully by now you can all play one chorus of Cool Blues by Grant Green. What did you think of this solo? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Going forward, there's of course two ways in which you can develop this. Firstly, you might just want to spend time playing along with Grant and seeing if you can perfect the solo so you can play exactly with him, matching all the little nuances that he does in this solo. For example, the slides, hammer-ons, slurs, all these subtle articulations really help some of these phrases pop when you're playing them and really help them come to life a little bit. And they are key characteristics, I think, in Grant's improvisational style. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you'd like more lessons like this, then please let me know in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, then you won't miss out any new videos, which I might do in this style.